Hey everybody, welcome back to another video on Full Self-Driving Beta. Thanks a lot for joining. My name is John. I live in the northwest suburbs of Chicago and I have been testing Full Self-Driving Beta since October 24th, 2021. Today's video is centered around parallel parking. Before I get to the parallel parking spot, I wanted to show a particular intersection where Full Self-Driving Beta still doesn't operate very naturally. It a lot of times will slow down unnecessarily and create mixed signals for other people. And this is a perfect example of exactly that. It comes up here, I slow down the footage. This is a four-way stop. I'm the only one at the intersection. Normally, as a human driver, you would be pulling into the middle of the intersection by now and carrying on your way. Beta, however, is creeping and creeping, but not creeping at all, even though it says it is. And then another car comes up and they're wondering what is going on. I rolled down my window just so I can see them a little bit better. They weren't very impressed that I was hesitating and hanging out there for so long. So that continues to be a little bit of a nuisance for other drivers. Just be cognizant of that if you are testing and evaluating beta. It does not operate perfectly in every situation, and you do need to be courteous to other drivers. So here we are for the parallel parking. So here, there's a car right there and another car. So we're going to come forward, and we're going to see if it detects the gap here. There it is. Okay. Push the P button. Shift to reverse. And we'll hit start. So you may have noticed there that my right turn signal went on. That was me manually turning it on. There was a car coming, so to be courteous, I wanted to make sure they knew what my intention was. But from here, the car is doing everything all on its own. Now, I don't think any of this is unusual. A lot of other cars can do parallel parking. But for somebody who may be interested in understanding how it operates in a Tesla, I think this is a good example. So it backs all the way up. My feet aren't doing anything below, and the car is just managing everything. You do have to be careful when you're performing these parallel parking maneuvers that you're not too close to the curb. And that bottom right camera that you can see on the screen, that's a good indicator that you're not going to hit the curb. So always just keep an eye on it. That's what I usually do. Nice. Auto park complete. Nicely done. All right, we're going to continue trip. So from here, a lot of people are curious, can you actually get out of a space like this? So let's put it in park. Excuse me. Let's take it out of park. Let's bring it into drive and let's see if it allows us to turn it on. It certainly does. You can see the route planner is showing that it's going to try to go around this car here. Let's turn it on. See, now that blows my mind. So 17 inches. I get out of the car a couple times just to confirm. That is about 17 inches. Okay, here we go. I try it again, enable it, and this time it says stop. I look again. I'm pretty sure the car can't make it. I'm, I'm, I'm hesitating to try it one last time. So it's allowing me to turn it on. Now, normally, if I wasn't filming, I would have given up or stopped doing this already. It's just really not. Yeah, I don't think it would make it. So it, it looks like it would just crash right into that car. So from here, I'm not going to trust it at all. I'm just going to take over manually. The remainder of this drive highlights a, another situation where, I mean, I thought it was relatively interesting to share. Here it gets over and then it has to change lanes twice. So here it gets in the middle and then all the way over to the right. And then watch this interaction. Nicely done. Now we have someone coming up here. Let's see if it stops for them. And it does see that guy. And my car went straight forward. So he motioned forward. I hesitate to raise my hand because I don't want to fool the person. But I did raise my hand as if I was driving manually. That's a really tough one when you're driving and the car is driving itself and someone's looking at you for a clue as to what you're about to do. It's always uh, really, <laughs> I, I know some other beta testers just don't do anything, but it's really hard to just not do anything. Anyway, I thought I'd highlight that as a last closing thought with beta. Thanks a lot so much, everybody, for watching. If you enjoy my content, please hit the like button. Throw a comment in the chat. I respond to all comments. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys again later.